Hi, my name is Barry Schwartz. This is a Search Buzz video recap. Today is Friday, June 25th, the day after iPhone 4 day. Got my new iPhone. I actually went to pick it up, so unlike most people, um, I didn't get it a day early. Uh, but it was fun anyway. We went as a company and we actually went ahead and picked up the uh, phone. But let's talk about search news. Again, today is June 25th. We have a lot to talk about, and I figured I'll just go through the topics uh, fairly quickly. Um, the first topic I want to talk about. Uh, was that a lot of people are repeatedly saying that they're top, they have top rankings at Google more than they ever did before, but their traffic is a lot is not what it should be based on the top referrals they're getting. And we discussed this about I think back in May, early May or so, when Google um, launched their new design. It was I think on May Google launched a new design early on in May. Um, plus at the same time we had the May Day update. But a lot of people were complaining that the rankings and the traffic for Google has changed. At the same time, people were saying that their rankings were never as good, but their their actual traffic from Google, people clicking from Google.com search result pages to their site, has dropped significantly. And we are hearing more reports of that now as well. Um, obviously, Google search results have drastically changed from what they were a month ago um, to what they are now, or two months ago for what they are now. And people are complaining that. Um, be, that even though they have top rankings, Google is not sending as much traffic as they should be uh, because Google should be a gateway to other websites. Um, so uh, there's a lot of complaints. We have some more information about this on June 23rd and uh, post that in the chat room as well. Um, talking about uh, Google updates, um, there was a supposedly another uh, tweak to the May Day update. Uh, and everybody knows what the May Day update is about, I hope. Um, Basically, Google did a major uh, algorithm change in on May 1st, 2nd or so, um, and a lot of people saw their rankings drop or increase or whatever it might be, but it specifically had to do with long tail keywords and a fix specifically targeted those types of uh, search results. Uh, there were several uh, discussions we had of course of the month about that. Um, a lot of people noticed a big change in mid-May mid or so, and then we had uh, another big change in June on June 2nd. And now people are saying there's another change to that algorithm. Now I'm not sure if it's May Day specific or just ranking algor algorithm specific, but it was on June 23rd, 24th. Pretty much about 24 hours ago, people started noticing another update to the uh, Google search results. And um, there's a lot of discussion about this over at Webmaster World, and people are just getting frustrated because they're not really sure um, what's going on, and why this is happening, and stuff like that. So if you want to learn more information about that, you could see up my article about that today on June 25th at seroundtable.com. Speaking about May Day, uh, we have some more insight from Googler Ma Molly uh, Miley O'Hay. Uh, she's basically one of the top people at Google Webmaster Tools. She's in charge of overseeing most of that and she's in charge of the product experience in terms of Webmaster Tools and she's very involved with web Webmasters and SEOs as well. Um, and she was the keynote speaker over at um, SES Toronto this week. and. Uh, we had a uh, top rank cover uh, that blog where she actually talked more about uh, May Day and what happened with May Day. And let me read to you what she said in response to May Day uh, when uh, Mike Grahan asked, asked her about that. So she said, we tweak little things in our algorithm all the time. May Day was a significant update that really impacted long tail terms. A lot of people were leveraging long tail phrases for a lot of traffic, but it, fre uh, but it was frequently done via automated methods. Uh, we've looked to eliminate that spam. Uh, and that's been a big priority for us. At the same time, we're looking to for uh, at the same time there were people developing not quality content, not a violation of guidelines, but not providing value. Um, what it does for long tail queries is now we're just considering them more like any type of query, and uh, we're going we are going to put as much value in those search results as all of our search results. So now um, those long tail queries are not as easy to rank for. They're looking for quality and stuff like that. Um, he goes on more and talks about this more. You can learn more about what Miley had to say about the May Day update on June 23rd at seroundtable.com or on the Top Rank blog as well. Again, if you have any questions as I'm doing this live in the chat room over there or on Twitter at Rusty Brick, just tweet to me or ask the questions in the chat room and I'll post them up as well. Um, the next thing I noticed today was, this is pretty interesting, a lot of people are using these rich snippets. And what rich snippets are, are basically if you do a search in Google, sometimes Google shows little reviews or pricing or different metrics in the actual search result in the snippet. And we talked a lot about this, it was launched over a year ago, 
Um, and then probably last year, September, Google came out with a tool for webmasters to see if they're marking and making valid a rich snippet markup. So basically for webmasters to be able to deploy rich snippets in Google search results, they have to mark up their HTML to add um, certain metadata to their HTML so Google pick up that those rich snippets and show them in the search results. So Google made a tool basically to show if it was done right. The problem is that a lot of people were not knowing if Google was picking it up. So now Google's saying, um, if you want them, if, you, if you're concerned that Google's not picking up your, web, your rich snippets, maybe you should let them know. And Google provided a feedback form which you can go ahead and email Google saying, here are my rich snippet pages, you know, become aware of it. Jonathan Simon, a Googler, said it won't guarantee that you're actually, uh, your, your pages are in the rich snippets area, but it will also help, it will help them, now let me quote you, it will help us be aware of your site's microform, microformat implementation and as we increase our support for microform, uh, microformat markup. So basically, it will just make them aware of it, more aware of it than they were in the past, and maybe that will help your chances for showing, sprucing up your search results in the Google search results using switch snippets. I think it's a very useful thing. Give it a try. We have more information about this on June 25th at SEOroundtable.com. Definitely give that a try. Um, talking about rich snippets, uh, we had a post over on June 23rd um, at SEOroundtable.com basically saying, um, remember, you know how you, you have, and let me show you the people watching live now, you can actually see my screen here, you can see that when you do certain types of search results, um, up comes, um, sometimes it shows little uh, uh, snippets of data, like 10 posts, 10 authors, last post was on this and this date, and stuff like that. So people were complaining in the forum, and what we had was a Googler uh, named Sagar basically say that if you, basically say that um, if something is wrong, let them know. So there's a form thread over at Google Webmaster uh, Help where you can actually post your URLs to Google saying, Google's marking up my, my pages as having the wrong post count, wrong last date mark, or whatever it might be, and show Google an example of that, and maybe they'll use that in order to update your site in the Google search results as well as improve the overall, overall algorithm they use and detection tools they use to figure out what type of uh, data they should show there. Again, we have a post about this on June 23rd, and you can learn more about that and maybe link over to the, to the Webmaster Help Forum to help you with that. <coughs> um, last, about 10 days ago or so, we reported that Googlebot has slowed down tremendously, Google Spider has slowed down tremendously in how they actually crawl and index your website. A lot of people were reporting that, a lot of people were reporting that basically um, Googlebot has either completely stopped crawling their website or has slowed, to a crawl, slowed their crawl tremendously where it's basically crawling maybe a tiny little fraction of what they used to crawl their websites. This was reported about about, about 10 days ago um, and what we saw in the past day or so was that Googlebot has tremendously increased how they're crawling websites. It seems like it's back to normal. We have a picture showing the crawl stats as well. So it seems like Google's back and crawling what, uh, as much as they used to be. The only issue that I saw was that WordPress, uh, WordPress system admin, their head system admins guy, basically said it seems like Google's crawling too much now. Um, it kind of, he basically implied that it's looking like a DOS attack. Um, so John Moo over at Google basically said, let me look into it, I'll get back to you, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to fix this. Uh, but um, WordPress, the hosted uh, blog solution, is actually looking to maybe block it if it continues this way. So something you should know about, June 23rd, if you're using WordPress, just be careful. So not something you can actually control, but it's something that actually um, is a, an issue, and uh, you should be aware of it. Um, next topic. We're almost, we're pretty much halfway through now, and we'll be done very soon, hopefully. This is very interesting. Let me show you this. Basically, Google's preventing on certain browsers, I think it's Chrome and IE, <coughs> or maybe Chrome on Mac or whatever, basically that they're preventing you to click on the second result. And basically, let me take you through this. I'm going to show you everybody my screen. What you do is you click on a search result. You do a search in Google. Then you click on this first search result. And if you're not happy with that first search result, you click back to Google. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try to click on the last, the second result, and they fixed it. But basically what was happening, and I can show you in, on, on my video here, 
was that when you were clicking on this on the first search result, <coughs> then going back and watch the screen here, if you click on the first search result, you click the back button on Google. And you try clicking on the second result, and it automatically uh, get rid of this ad and show it to you again. You got the first. You click on the first search result. You have the page loaded. You click back. Then you try clicking on the second search result, and it didn't let you. Basically, brought up this get more results uh, feature. It seems like they fixed it, but it was basically preventing certain people from clicking on the second search result. I found that pretty interesting, and Google has finally fixed that. The next thing is related to SEO and using the no script tag. A lot of people in the old days, if they had uh, if they had a lot of JavaScript navigation on their site, they would maybe include a sitemap file in a no script element on their website for basically browsers that could not support JavaScript. Um, we I actually used that on my old site, on my old rustybrick.com site for a while. Obviously, we redid re our site and we didn't rely on JavaScript at all, pretty much. Um, but basically, John Moo over Google said. The, the problem with no script tag is that it's been abused a lot by spammers, so search engines might treat it with some suspicion. So basically, try not to use no script tag, try to use alternatives, and uh, don't, deploy, uh, don't rely on it. Um, in 2006, Brett Tadkey actually said that links within a no script tag do not actually pass rank. If you want to learn more about that, June 21st at SARoundtable.com. Next is Bing. Microsoft Bing has actually did a major uh, has done a major revamp of their uh, website. Um, Bing is now a lot. It's not a completely revamped, but it's a, it's a lot revamped. They tightened up the search space. Uh, they made it look a lot cleaner. They've uh, expanded their entertainment section. They've enhanced their uh, their iPhone app to include barcode scanning and stuff like that. They've also expanded their um, health related search results. But the main thing is that the search results look a lot cleaner, and you can just basically see before and after pictures on June 23rd at seroundtable.com. Overall, I think, I think a lot of people are happy with the new changes. Uh, I think about a week ago or two weeks ago, we, we, we were talking about how Google News um, is becoming more and more spammy, at least according to what I've been seeing in the forums. And we had a, a Googler named Nimbal actually post a single thread over at the Google MS Earth for, at the Google News forum, basically saying, that um, the single post saying that we are seeing your post about the spam and, and we're seeing your quality posts and we're not replying to all of them but we are investigating all of them and don't worry. It's pretty interesting. It's basically a sign to me that <coughs> um, either Google News is becoming more spammy or that people are becoming more aware of how to report spam to Google News people. Talking about spam, um, Yahoo Search, which is pretty much almost dead, uh, within hopefully a couple months will be gone and Bing will be powering them. Uh, but it seems like they've totally given up. Their 404 handling is completely outrageous these days. Uh, we have a post about how they're not handling 404s properly. 404 is not page not found. If you are having problems with Yahoo handling 404s, um, you can take a look at this on June 22nd. Basically, what people are doing is they're blocking Yahoo from crawling their website. Uh, they're blocking Yahoo Bot, uh, which is Slurp. Uh, you might want to do the same because eventually it's going away anyway and Bing is going to be powering them hopefully within the next couple months. Uh, talking about uh, <coughs> uh, search share and whatever in Yahoo, since Yahoo is going away anyway, Hitwise actually Hitwise actually came out with a, their new report uh, showing that Google now has, has over 72% market share, they're back at 72%, they've increased by about 1% or so. Yahoo has dropped 3% from the previous month. Bing has dropped 2%. As has dropped 2% from the previous month. Again, this is month-to-month -month, uh, stats, so you have to take that with a grain of salt. Uh, but it's nice to see uh, Google, I guess, gaining share and Yahoo doing what they should be doing is dropping share because I'm not a big fan of Yahoo these days. All right, so that pretty much recaps most of it. Let me just go through the different logos that we had this week. I'll bring up my screen here so you can see it. Uh, this, uh, I think it was, what day was it? It was uh, <coughs> Monday. Monday was the first day of summer, and Google had, at least in our area, in New York, and Google had four different doodles for summer, and you can see them on my screen here. 
Yahoo had a nice little animated logo for the summer showing kids swimming. Uh, Chinese search engine or Japanese search engine, so Gooey had a, a, also a, a thing. Dog Pile had a nice little guy, a dog on the beach. Um, search and Roundtable, we had something. Also in Google Germany, they had a, uh, a doodle on, on the first day of summer for, but it wasn't for just summer, it was for John Paul Sartre, who's a big, uh, no, well known atheist uh, playwright and author. Um, and over in Argentina, the lower, the lower, I guess the uh, southern hemisphere, there was, this is actually the first day of winter there. They have winter starting now. And Google had doodles over there for those search portals that are specific to winter. Um, also, this Sunday was Father's Day. It was my second, uh, my second Father's Day ever. And Google had, and we had uh, doodles from the various search engines. We had Google had a logo with ties. Yahoo had an uh, animated logo by Do. The big search Chinese search engine had one. Um, Segoy also had one. Dogpile had a nice uh, logo. Bing had a nice theme with gorillas. Ask.com had a nice theme. Create a site, forums, and also we had our own theme as well. So happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there. For anybody who got an iPhone, happy iPhone day as well. And uh, happy first day of summer or winter. And I guess we'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much for tuning in. And again, this is the Friday, June 25th edition of the Search Plus Video Recap. This is news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable at scroundtable.com. My name again is Barry Schwartz. Thanks for listening. Bye.